Good morning, folks. Behind me, you can see there's water. This here is Lake Okeechobee. We are on the shores. We're on the east side of Lake o Okeechobee. We stopped for uh, a little uh, mini break. Got a, a little pavilion here with a table and we thought we'd come down here and walk Ella, give her a drink, kind of enjoy it. It's a nice breeze here. It's pretty. Uh, a lot of dragonflies. Oh yeah, lots of dragonflies. Let me tell you where we're at. I'm gonna drag the map over here. We are at, I believe, Pahokee. That's where we're at. And this is kind of where we're going and this is where we've been. So we were in Naples this morning, came up, came across. Um, we're going to do some adventuring through here. This was a beautiful drive through here. Was, we got to see a lot of uh, just your basic Florida. Um, some cane fields, some farms, some things like that. Uh, rural setting, get you away from the city. It was a very nice, easy drive across there. No traffic whatsoever. Um, and we're going to go and explore and find some campsites for some future visits as we go through some uh, management areas and then we're going to find our way over to Delray Beach this evening. So stick around. Delray Beach. <laughs> Delray Beach. <laughs> Karen, she's like, I got none. <laughs> so uh, stick around. We'll see what we can come up with today to get in trouble with. Because you know me, I'm always in trouble. And Karen says we got to go. I'm not here to make fashion statements. Karen thinks that my shorts and my shirt don't match. I don't think, I know. Oh, she says she knows. I don't know. I, I think they match. What do you, yeah, she, she back there behind me somewhere. I, I, like, I like my shorts. I like my Ella. Ella wants to get in the truck. She's like, I'm done with this stuff. Okay, so as we continue our adventure today, we are in the Dupuis Wildlife Environmental Area, the South Florida Water Management District. We're going to find our way through this area. We're coming in up here at the top of the map. We're gonna make our way around, come out down here. Maybe we'll see some alligators or some skunks. There's a lizard, a couple of them. You can see here's another map of the Everglades trails. That'd be a nice map to have. You might be able to get that. Oh, more information, evergladestrails.com. Probably get that from that website. Here's your uh, rules of the road, street legal vehicles. ATVs are prohibited. Dogs must be leashed. Do not litter. And here's some more information, general information for hunting, camping, etc. We're gonna follow the Jim Lake grade. It says there's a fishing pier seven and a half miles from here. Here's an old abandoned FWC check station. Do not hang or clean animals, even though they have an old buck pole. And this is the power line grade. We could go that way if we so choose, but I think we're gonna go this way instead. I've got Gaia maps pulled up on my uh, dashboard. You can see we got the bison. She's gonna get a little muddy today probably. So let's get after it. So the first place we made it to on this trip is the family campground and it's closed and I'm not sure why it's closed but we're gonna go take a walk in there because there's room to get through on foot am I locking it yeah can you shut my door please so 
pretty cool area. Nice little wilderness area. And we're going to go take a little walk. See what we can find. See if Ella can find more fire ants. She got into them this morning. Oh boy, she did not like that. Camping prohibited. Not really. But there might be alligators in here. We'll keep Ella. Yeah, we don't want to feed Ella to the alligators. And it says tent and tent pop up only. No RVs. And there's no host because it's closed. But there does look like I just saw some restrooms. But we're going to make our way around the loop and see what we can scope out for something here in the future, maybe. So we found one camper who must have walked in. Chair and other stuff. There's a little pond here in the middle. Nice open sites. There's a couple back the other way that were a little more secluded. And there's another tent over there too. So I'm not sure what that's all about. But you can see I'm at full arm stretch and Ella's pulling tight because she wants to see everything. Come on. Yeah, yeah, we gotta keep her out of the mud. Come on, honey. Yeah. So there's restrooms, pit toilets. It's pretty cool in here. I like this. Well, just in, well, it's not hot. I mean, it, it's in the high 80s today, but it's not really hot here. Yeah, and there's no bugs for the most part. Which is kind of nice. But I was just saying just the atmosphere, the the trees and the oh, the growth. So yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good place. Looks like to do a couple nights someplace like this. Come on, honey, let's go. But apparently not now because it's closed. Yeah, closed. Yeah. Fresh tracks. It's all good, you know. Put it in the hood. So I guess you can get a special use license for limited access, and then they might might give you a code for the lock. Um, but they're saying to keep it locked to keep traffic out. So that would make more sense. All right, limited use. We're gonna put the Ella back in the truck. Come on, honey. Oh, come on, let's go. Up two. There you go. Now this looks like a horse trail. It uh, has some red markings over there. And then there's, over here, you can see it says road closed. So I'm not sure if that is actually closed, but I suspect it is. 
and then there's another one up here that says road closed. So it's real interesting because I was under the impression a lot of these little satellite roads, there's even another one that's marked red, closed to vehicles. There's there's a, a track there, but I don't know if you want to go in there with more, by yourself, you want another vehicle. That one didn't say closed going that way. Yeah, a couple of these you're going to want a couple vehicles because you get stuck, you're going to need somebody to pull you out even if you got recovery gear. Because if you can't reach a tree, you're done. But uh, a lot of these little spurs show that they're closed, which, I mean, I didn't do a ton of research, but, uh, you know, I don't know how long they've been closed. But just be forewarned that if you were ever to come here, that's what you may run into. So we may be going down and turn around and come back on the main road just because we can't get off a spur. However, looks like somebody did a... Somebody put out here with some big tires. Yeah, so they went down through there. Yeah. Well, it, it, yeah, and it did say stay on the main road, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It said vehicles stay on. And no ATVs. Yeah, no ATVs. Had to be roadworthy. Yep, had to be a had to be a roadworthy vehicle. Road legal, I should say. All right. You see, we're creating our little trail there. Look at this one. She's got a big dog nose. We went ahead and turned around and we're gonna make our way out. And then um, we're gonna go down and skirt around the outside of the others. There's another place a little further to the east and make our way over uh, as we go to Del Rey. But we're gonna find some place to have lunch here in a few. And it looks like it might rain. It's looking pretty cloudy. So, Ella, she would like some lunch. She's always hungry. So we'll see what happens. The trail's pretty pretty easy on the vehicle. Any two-wheel drive could make its way down through here. But there is a lot of tracks where swamp buggies are going off. And it's it's in areas I don't think they're supposed to. So, do it if you want. I think I would just uh, get stuck. And then that would just result in having a not so happy wife. <laughs> so, we left the Dupuy management area and we swung around over to the uh, JW Corbet management area. As you can see, oh, I left my <laughs> I left my stupid follow lights on my uh, uh, trail lights. I had to turn them off. Anyway, so um, chase lights, as those are called. So anyway, what we did is we kind of went up and around. It's about a, I would say it's probably 12 miles, 10, 12 miles from the Dupuy Gate where we were. And I'll give you a shot of the map here. And uh, so we're coming in at the north entrance here and Dupuy would have been way up over here. So we're gonna take this north grade road because I suspect all these one and twos are not unimproved roads and trails. I don't know if any of these are open, but we're probably gonna take this and come out down here. So we're, we'll get some footage of that. We're gonna stop and have some lunch. Um, this seems to be a little bit more kept up, I guess. Um, there's a lot more signage. Um, looks like there's some speed bumps. Uh, it's paved going in. Um, then there's a little ranger hut up there, but we'll uh, do some filming as we go. Have some lunch and uh, spend our afternoon just enjoying the beautiful uh, wilderness areas 
in central, well, I would say south central Florida. So this is a fee area. As you can see, I did get out and put the uh, money in there. Pretty easy. The envelopes have a little tag on it that you can keep in your vehicle. It's got a little number, and if you have any problems, maybe call them, but you shouldn't have any problems. Except I need four bucks back because I didn't have ones. I did. I had ones. <laughs> you, where were you while I was doing this? I might have been busy. Okay. All right. But enough of that gibberish. All right, let's go find a place to have some lunch. Okay, took a break. We're gonna have a little bite to eat. Found this uh, little turnoff point here. Seems to be quite a few little camp spots. Uh, what was this one, C or D? Uh, yeah. C, I think, C or D. What are we gonna have? We're gonna have salad. salad. We're having salad. Who has salad? This one's got a little bit of water. I don't see no crocodiles. Yeah. Alligators. Alligators, not crocodiles. Ella, she's wandering around. Ella, what you eating that for? What's she doing? Oh, look at what she's doing. Hey! Knucklehead, let's go over here. We're just having a good old time. Enjoying it. Just away from civilization. Hey Karen. Okay. Alright. We're gonna have some yum yums. Watermelon. That tasted good. I spilled it this morning in the cooler. I had to pick it up, put it in the cooler, and I had a piece, and so did Ella. Good. Yeah, some good stuff. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have me a Bud Light Lime. Would you like one? I'll have a sip of yours. Okay, we'll share one. What you want? We'll get Ella some fresh water too. Good so girl like that. All right. Somebody had a campfire here, not us. We've got some wood that we could burn. I don't even know where you get fire these days. Oh, I haven't found the... The what? That's on the corner. Oh, it's in there. It's all the way in the bottom. Oh, you know what? Unless... Oh, I don't remember putting it in there, but I didn't see it in the... I never saw it. Oh, good. Karen found the vinegar for our salads. Lost salads. Two people are going to eat all this. Come on. We're not going to eat the vinegar. All right. We're going to do that and then we'll get back at it. So, about a half a mile back, we saw a little alligator. He might have been a foot and a half long, don't you think? Yep. At least a foot and a half long. Yeah. Some days on the road. Yep, he was just chilling out, and then he scurried off. I did get a little picture of him in the weeds, but I don't think I would have been able to get close enough to him to get any better of a picture than I did. Uh, probably would have bit my fingers off or something. Then we got co-pilot Ella here. She didn't even notice. She's looking for everything but can't see nothing for some reason. Karen thought she saw a tarantula. I don't know about that. 
We did see a snake. I don't know what kind it was. It slithered off too fast, but it was about four to five feet long. Uh, very dark. So, it's hard to say. But it was a python. Oh, yeah, it was a python. All right. Hey, we're up to pee camp. Oh, this is where we're going to pee. Is this camp pee? No. Are we not camp? Oh, we're not peeing at the camp pee? Okay. So we're still making our way around. I think we were, where are we at? Like mile eight, 17, 18? What's that mean? That's how far we've gone we on this. No, it counts up. So, I don't know, we're not that far from the end. You can see the, on the map. So we're probably only a couple miles from the end. So we haven't seen any like mammals. No four-footed furry creatures. We sure would like to though, but it's probably just too hot. So. It's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's in the 80, 90 range, 88 to 91. So. Alright. We're going to keep rolling until we get out of here.